Okay. Assalamualaikum and good evening Fahim Inafiq Waalaikumsalam and good evening Syarul Waalaikumsalam and good evening Syarul How are you Fahim and good evening Today I'm very well How about you Afiq? I'm also feeling good today uh, How about you? I'm fine today, thank you So today uh, I want to ask you Do you have any plan to travel to Malaysia on um, Sunday? I think I don't have any suggestion about make a trip for this holidays. How about you? Oh, I also like you. I don't have any plan for this holiday. Uh, Shahrul, do you have any plan? But I think uh, I want to plan to go to Trigano this holiday. But is it? I think it's impossible to do because it's a, it's a uh, last minute plan. So I think it's can do. How about your feet? Um, I just read this blog. Uh, I think it's a, it's a possible to we to we to do a trip. How about you, Sharon? I think I'm in with you because. Uh, this block can help us to make a trip with you. Okay. okay. So our destination is Tengganu? Yes, our destination is Tengganu. So all of you have to read that block. Yeah, uh, I just read this block and I think we can go to Tengganu. Okay. So to me that blog website. Yes, but you can see this. Uh, oh, Sharon, also you can see this. Yes. Uh, do you think possible to go to Nagaloo? Yes, I do. Oh, this blog website. Yes. I, I was read this uh, blog website uh, last weekend. So I think it's possible to make a trip for Trangano because uh, in this blog uh, they have make, uh, they have read uh, right more a lot of information to uh, traveler and of course to us to make uh, the trip for this holiday so I think it can do for this holiday uh, How about you Harold? I was in uh, the vlog and yesterday this Teringanu is a state located on the east coast of Malaysia Teringanu has great potential in attracting tourists from Europe Choose the island and which tourism segment. Tourism, culture and digital technology is cool. Arifin De Raman said, the foreign tourists entering Terengganu involving the three main desert islands, namely Redang Island, Perintian Island and Dangkana Island. Terengganu state is actually also known as a tourism state. This is because the government has introduced this state as a new tourism center. Its beauty and uniqueness are the main driving force behind this introduction. The state of Tringano has many interesting holiday centers to visit. For example, Kandang Island, Kandang Island. The sounds look so good. Yeah, yes, I think that's good also. Uh, Tringano has a uniqueness. The uniqueness of this island has been the trigger for the development of Tringano. For example, beautiful and clean island. Many unique marine life, special corals and many others. This place are uh, the main tourist attraction in the state of Tringano. This uniqueness has caused the state of Tringano to become developed and become the main focus of tourism as well as other states that also have tourism centers. The beauty, the beauty of the beach and island that surround the beauty of Tringano is long and important importance for students and research marine bio. My friends, I think you got a lot of information from this blog about Tringano, right? So, Sharul, 
do you have add-ons the information for anything about this trip? Of course, like Teringa Inu also famous in various aspects such as food, activity, tourist place, cultures, arts, and heritage. Teringa Inu has a very has a variety of traditional foods and various activities can we do. In addition, there are many famous places that have attracted many foreign tourists to travel to Teringanu. The city centre of Teringanu is the main focus for tourists to buy food, souvenirs and batik fabric. What do you think, Fai? Oh, I think that's a great idea that you got from the blog. It was, sounds fascinating and adventurous when certain plans are met on sudden impulse and gut feel. However, the downside of going on such trips is that there could be many days where the skating can go because of everything being so last minute. So, we need to think to keep in mind while planning the wise activities. We need to depend on the budget and time at disposal. We take a rough idea of what activities should be done on what day is a vital ingredient in understanding how to plan a trip perfectly. Transfers between destinations should be kept as much as possible during the evening and night. This will provide enough time for seat seeing and activities as most of them are only possible during the daytime. Uh, most of the time is better to book activities like water sports, adventure sports and boat rides at the destination, especially Trengganu ride, right? itself to get a better price and some scope for bargaining. In the trip planner, keep only one or two activity in a day if the purpose of the trip is to relax and take it easy during the vacation. I think at some place, popular tourist activities like skiing, boating, scuba diving are closed during off-season. So we need to check the availability of activities before going to the destination. I think that should we do before we go to trip or long journey. So yes, I, I agree. agree with me. Sorry, yes, I agree. I agree with you. So I think can you tell us about the Vikram Christian Mosque? Oh, Christian Mosque is a famous mosque in Indonesia. Of course, first of all, you need to know background this place. Do you know Malaysia has a number a lot of mosques in the world? The reason why most in Malaysia is mainly because Islam is the official religion in our country. Uh, let me tell you one of the most unique and beautiful mosques in Malaysia. The mosque is situated on Trengganu, one man island, Islamic heritage park. The visitor, the visitor mosque is known as Masjid Christian. Um, it's said to be one of the greatest Muslim place of food in all of Malaysia. Um, uh, jadi Pertuan Agung uh, Sultan Mizan Zainal Ibad uh, Abidin of Terganu only officially unveiled the mosque to public on February 2008. The construction um, between 2006 uh, until 2008. I am so excited to be there. So Afi, can you tell, tell to us what, what is special about this mosque? In my opinion, I think the unique, uniqueness uh, of the mosque come from the aesthetic exterior. The mosque uh, is coated with steel, glass and crystal, uh, which is uh, the three main uh, material um, in the development of this magnificent. Um, the, the piece the piece of architecture architecture um, which gave it the name easily and modern look is the reflected of the river surrounding the mosque the illumination from inside the mosque also makes it look like the glass domes are shining 
the crystal uh, moss is able to accommodate up to uh, 1,500 1, workkeepers at a given time and also make its name internationally for its beauty. Wow, that's a very, very good information for this moss. And I think this moss is very popular in Terengganu because the beautiful of the most in the most of beautiful in Terengganu. So, can you tell me how to go to this place and what activity we can do? Because this is most, and I think it's. Uh, I think it's not good for uh, it's have a limit activities uh, to do. But uh, so, can you tell us what we can do there? Okay, fine. Personally, it's a good question. Um, if you go to Kuala Terengganu, then Masjid Crystal is the place that you must to visit. Um, there are there, there are so many ways you to come this to to come this masjid. Uh, first, you can try to take a flight, uh, and you can if you if you take a flight, then you can go to the Sultan Mahmud Airport. Um, but if you want to take a bus, everywhere from Malaysia or, uh, uh, or Singapore. Uh, but but when you are there, do not miss out the breathtaking engineering achievement. Uh, of course, we can pay you, but some people can take some photo. But some sometimes during your visit, do not be surprised if you see uh, people come and photo shoot because the place has become one of the top photoshop photoshop uh, venue that they are happy a day without a couple posing for a renewed cake shakes. Oh yes, I understand. So, Fit, can you give another place that we can visit in Terengganu that we can do a lot of activities and um, uh, and do a lot of activities and what uh, still in our budget? Okay, fine. I understand what you what you said, but. Um, I think you know um, Downbridge, Kuala Terengganu. Ah, yes. You know? Yes, I know. Uh, it's um, uh, one of famous Downbridge in Terengganu because um, Downbridge is a part of Terengganu, um, Terengganu project for the East Coast Economy region. In the first, Downbridge went in Malaysia and South East Asia. Do you think it's amazing? Of course, that's amazing. Do you know how the price to make this down bridge? I think the price is very, the budget is very expensive and highly. Yeah, the, the number of price is so big. I want to tell you the price is two for eight million. Wow, that's a very big value for the bridge only. The construction of the bridge starts in August 2000 to 2014 and was completed in middle 2019. This is also a component in the development of Kuala Terengganu City. Center uh, its design was inspired by London Tower Bridge. Uh, you know? Oh yes, yes, I know about the bridge at the uh, London at the London. They're very famous in international traveling. Yes, because it's designed by um, Tower Bridge in London, so the design is beautiful. The dog bridge has a 23 meter wide single. Uh, it's connects Muara Selatan, a reclaimed area in Kuala Terengganu City, and near Tanjung and Muara, Muara Utara um, in Seberang Taki. This was so amazing. I want to know more about Terengganu. Can you tell us? Yes, also. Um, you you also can go to Bukit Putri, close the central market in Kuala Terengganu. You will, you will find a flight of stairs, which is mark of beginning of beginning of Bukit Putri. The climb to the top is around two hundred meter. You know. Yes. 
is the highest mountain. And once you get the summit, you can enjoy the beautiful view, um, like sunset. Okay, you know sunset. Yes. Uh, you can enjoy the beautiful view of the city, which is make it climb to it. Um, at the summit of the of the hill, you will also find a crumbling, uh, crumbling ruins of a fort that would have dated from in 1930. Um, but I think the uh, I think it's still open by night nine until five pm. Uh, there is not much left of the fort uh, now, except for some seminar, bath and cannon. We also can take a trip to Pulau uh, I think we also need to nature. Yes. Uh, Pulau Rendang is um, if you want to get out of Kuala Tenggara proper then head to Renda Island Kuala Renda is, is easy not as Malay the island is part of the wider Renda Island Marine Park and this part of Malaysia is now for having a ranch underwater right. this includes some 5 different kinds of coral and over 3,000 3, species of fish we will also find over a thousand kinds of beavers here and as you would expect, snorkeling and diving are popular past time here. Um, this make a great day this this make a great day be outside of Waterganu or we can stay overnight. Here sanity of the island. If we take a package, it maybe start from 400 for 400 for 5 ringgit um, maybe until 698 ringgit so I think it's very cheap for our trip I think uh, it's uh, possible to do but the budget is very highly to go to the Pulau Redang, Pulau Redang. Okay. it's because it takes a cost from 40, 40, 445 ringgit until 698 ringgit so it's very very expensive to me because I'm, uh, I'm a student and so I think maybe we can uh, do uh, the other activities that we can use low cost. Uh, so Sharon, you think? Uh, I think you agree with my statements. I agree with you because we are student and who was. We, we need to buy uh, book, clothes to go to class. So we, I think it's possible to go to the island. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but I think if you want to keep a place, place, we can go to, we can survey Chinese culture in Tengganu. Do you interesting with that? Yes, I think it's very, very amazing because as we know, the Chinese culture is very different. Yes. So, I think you know about this information. So, I think we can explain about this culture of it. Um, yes, if you, if you are guys, if you guys are interested to survey this culture, I want to, I want, I want to bring you guys to Chinese town that located in Terengganu. Um, I think we can, we can go to Chinese town because it's a free place. Um, Chinese town uh, located in Kuala Terengganu in 16 century put Chinese town which is, is believed to be one of the oldest Chinese town settlements in Malaysia. The Chinese town brings um, shop house, Glenton house, food, delicious food and vibrant place. Mm. So that I want to ask you, so we no need to use our money for going to this Chinatown. Yes. Um, if you want to survey, you want to survey that just walk, it's free. But if you want to buy some food, you use our money. Oh, so it depends to you, lah, to you to use uh, how your how you 
how to you spend uh, the money lah. Yes, if, um, if you want to take a photo, it's free. But if you want to buy a food, um, survey their culture food, uh, I think it's our money. Okay, um, I want to... Uh, apart from the building, all one uh, one can also go around as per the Chinese temple, uh, Chinese temple, small food courts, coffee, tiam or local coffee, um, which is use our money uh, buying souvenir, especially, especially those related to turtle, this common activity here. Uh, turtle because Serengano is famous with turtle, you know. Yeah. The world of Chinese town has several languages which feel which mural and unique street art which is photographer paradise. It's a good it's a good mind for shopping exhaustion and foodies. Those visiting Chinese town must fully try out pack of home and butter buns and coffee jam. Also those looking for for perfection. Um, can take a perfect photographic opportunity you must not forget to capture the traditional architecture of the Greece Milan and they are featured along the place. But how to reach the traffic? One, one can reach the town by taking a taxi or grab. Uh, but I prefer grab because it's a cheap. Uh, we can we can take grab from anywhere uh, in Kuala Terengganu. But if you want to go with your public transport, you can take a bus. Um, the service bus is also cheap for us, uh, which is provide unique bus design to look uh, like traditional Malay house. The fee charge for boarding at any station along the bus road is just one ringgit. Is it cheap? Yes. 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 Um, for for Chinatown, one must get one must get down at Ventian Bus Majlis Bandaraya Kuala Terengganu. Bus stop and then walk. Uh, we need to walk uh, eight minutes and to reach the Chinese town. So we we can spend we can uh, keep our money to the next activity. Is it right? Yes. Uh, I want you to save your money because I want to I want I want to bring you guys to the Pulau Pulau eh, Pantai Batu Buruk. You know? No, I I don't know because I I never go to I never uh, don't go to Terengganu yet. So I don't know about Terengganu, but I know that place from the blog. So. G, uh, it's just from the block only. Yes, uh, I I also do, I also never go to Tengganu, but, uh, but I I have to uh, read in block. Pula uh, pantai Batu Buru uh, is the one of the best beach um, in Kuala Tengganu. Which is like pantai Rendang, but, but pantai Batu Buru is the beautiful. Uh, it's refreshing blue water, line which quite steady. Uh, quite steady, stretch back for a picture's beauty. Some of the top things to do in Kuala Tengganu including picnic, uh, weekend, fast carriage, riding ATV, motor riding and kite flying and enjoy here. Even a separate play, uh, playground for kids is also available, available on Pantai Batu Buru. There are several food stalls offering, stall offering quick like keropok leko, banana, baker, baker corn and, and leko fries. You will love uh, spending some blessing time here which is baking uh, in Kuala Terengganu. Okay. Excuse me, may I interrupt this? I think maybe if we know some tips or tips for this trip. Why do you want to share with us some tips or trick for our trip? I have a lot of tips and tricks from this blog. So this I want to share to all of you about the tips what we should do and we need to do when we go trip. The first tip is don't draw attention. It is because people who look like they are from out of town are especially vulnerable to crime. So try to blend in as much as you can. 
choose in conspicuous clothing that won't be attract attention. This is more important because it can make you uh, be careful be, uh, from the people there. So, uh, other than that, we need to be discreet when looking at maps and approach people carefully if you need to ask for directions. Also consider investing in protective clothing and gear that will make it more difficult for pickpockets to steal money and other personal items. I, I totally agree with you. It's because we don't know about the personality background. Uh, for some person, we interact and communicate. Yes. Do you have another tips? Yes, I have the another tips. The second tips is we need to make copies of important documents. You never know when you might need a copy of your driver license or another form, another form of identifications. So. We need to scan this document to save online and print out several hard copies. That way, you won't be scrambling to find proper documentation if you need to get home. Fine, it's a good tip, but I want, I want some more. Okay, okay. Uh, I have another tips that the trip we need to keep. Uh, update uh, with our friends and especially our family. Uh, no matter whether you are going on a overnight job or a month long international journey and especially to us, we won't go a trip, right? So it's always a good idea to let friends or family back home now. No. Before we leave, we need to send a copy of our itinerary to a few trusted people who can keep tabs on our whereabouts, check in regularly with our contact, so they know we are where and we are supposed to be. Sorry for this uh, in my opinion, we need to inform to family before we go on a trip or long journey. The thing to be sure we have in a good condition and do not make them worry, them worry about your, ourselves. Do you have any opinion about this or this? Yes, I have the second last for this tips. We need to beware of public Wi-Fi. So, we don't need to let the convenience of internet access clock our judgment. When we use public Wi-Fi, hacker looking to steal valuable information can access our data, including credit card or social security numbers. It's very dangerous for us to go someplace we don't never go. So if we do, if we need the wireless internet service, we can access the hotspot from our friends for a while. These things I think more better than we using the public Wi-Fi. And last but not least, we need to safeguard our hotel room. Even our hotel has strong security measure in place. There are steps we can take to make our room safety. First and first, we need to lock and dead ball the door and keep our windows shut. We can buy a jammer, which is a portable device that slips under the door for another layer of protection. Um, I'm sorry, but I, but I hear Tenggara have a delicious food. Can you tell us um, about their traditional food? 
Yes, the Ganyu has a traditional food. As we know, the Ganyu is very famous for its traditional food. For example, um, kerupuk likur, nasi dagang, otak-otak and others. This food is considered famous because the ingredients use uh, fresh ingredients. For example, kerupuk likur. Kerupuk is a type of traditional food and the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia, Kerengganu. Liku is one of the food brought by the Peranakan Chinese to the community, especially in Terengganu. The high content of fish milk, of fish mix, liku, is a high protein food dish in natural iodine. Kerupuk liku can be eaten fresh as soon as it is picked up with spicy chili sauce, mayonnaise and cheese. At this time, making kerupuk liku has already become famous in several other states besides Tringano. Kerupuk liku can also be further processed to make crackers. The boiled the boil liku crackers will be thinly sliced and dry to make into dry crackers known as a kerupuk kering. Um, these crackers will become fluffy when fried in hot oil and they are very tasty when eat with chili sauce. Kerupuk leko are uh, made with sambal flour and fish. It is slightly greenish in color and give off a fishy taste and smell which become more prominent as it cool down after frying. The wood liquor is said to be derived, derived from, from a Terengganu, Malay word meaning to rule. Tourists often bring kerupuk liquor to their home. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Shahrul. May I interrupt? interrupt. Um, I like the kerupuk liquor, especially it with chili sauce. Yes, yes. It's a very delicious uh, food. Uh, in addition, it's very delicious when we eat the hot kerupuk leko. Yes. It's so delicious. I, c- I can't wait to eat many kerupuk leko when we arrive there. Um, Afi, can you tell us about Corinthian Island? I hear that is very beautiful. I hear that is the beautiful island in the city. Is it true? Yes, but it is. Are you true? Corinthian Island is one of the most beautiful islands in Kuala Terengganu. Uh, Usually we are we are listen about the Kaui Island. You know the Kaui Island. Yes, yes, of course, it's very but famous in Malaysia. But it located in uh, Kedah. Yes. Um, but now we talk about Terengganu. Terengganu have a Pulau Perintian Island, one of the most beautiful islands. You know. Yes. Um, Pulau Pulau Perintian as the local call it, it, it is a um, marine paradise um, and form a part of the national marine. Um, a part of Malaysia. Perintian Island uh, are a group of small, uh, beautiful islands located in North, North Asia, uh, coast of Peninsula Malaysia, in the state of Terengganu. The, this island are known for their for their study natural beauty, class crystal clear, uh, crystal, crystal clear water and vibrant marine life, making them a popular destination for travellers looking to enjoy tropical paradise and underwater adventure. But there are uh, some activities we can do like snorkeling, uh, diving and also we can, uh, we can relax in this beach. Can I ask you one question? Uh, yes, what activity we can do at this island? Uh, you want us to think what we can do this? Uh, what can we do at this island? Right? Okay, Charlotte, sure, I understand what you what you try to say. Uh, just like I said, the activity is snorkeling, scuba diving, and the primary activity here due to reach the marine biodiversity. Uh, 
by this activity you can explore the Kalu uh, Flora Garden and encounter various fish, uh, species of fish including ground fish, pebble fish and reef shark. Other activity include jungle trekking, kayak and sabbatting on the beach. Uh, The Perintan Island are particularly famous for diving. There are numerous dive uh, centers um, on both islands that offer course for beginners and guide that for experience in uh, black, shubura and terumbu tiga. I want to ask you five. Do you, uh, do you know how to scuba diving? No, I don't have any experience in scuba diving. So, uh, how about you, Sharon? Uh, I to meet you. Uh, I, I think I cannot uh, swim. Oh yeah, that is okay. I understand. I understand. So I think um, this place is the best, the best place because um, they have a teacher to teach us how to scuba diving. Wow, that is amazing. But I want to know about what's the best time to visit this island. For example, like weekend or weekdays or public holidays. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, in my opinion, but, but I just read the blog. The blog said uh, it's the best time to visit the printed island. Uh, it's during the dry season, uh, which is tropically run from March to October. Uh, the islands are less crowded during the during the weekday, so if you prefer a quieter experience, consider visiting outside the weekend and holiday. Oh, so it's prefer we go weekdays. I'm just fine. Okay, I understand. Fine. Uh, I want to know about what the uh, uniqueness in Trigano. Oh. And then from this block, they list very, very many about the uniqueness in Trangano. The first thing first, personally, Ulek Mayang. You know Ulek Mayang? Ulek Mayang is a dance? Yes, that's right. Ulek Mayang is a famous and traditional Malay, Malay dance in Trangano. Um, and song that originates from the state of Trangano in Malaysia. So the song is very, uh, originally from Trangano, from this state. So it is a popular culture performance that is often showcased at various events and celebrations uh, especially during traditional Malay weddings uh, and other events like traditional events uh, Afi, do you have anything to say Afi? Um, I think you're right you're You, you said Uli Mayang is um is a Malay traditional. Yes. Um, but I think I, I I also think like you. Um, but my opinion is Uli Mayang is not only form entertainment but also a cultural expression. They reflect the rich heritage of the Malay people. Uh, particularly um those in the Terengganu region. Um, is it a beautiful uh party? Uh, captivating performance that continue to be created and celebrate in Malaysia. The song that are uh, composed, uh, the Ulek Mayang, then often to tell a story, convey a message uh, related to love, nature, or love for or, or love for love. Um, the lyrics are usually in the Malay language and the music is performed uh, using a traditional Malay instrumental like gambus and Good enough. Yes. Me. May I interrupt you guys? But you know about batik, right? Yes, I know about batik. This is very famous in Terengganu. But did you guys know that Malaysia also has a own batik? Oh, I think batik from is Indonesia. No, batik is a long story in Malaysia. With evidence of batik production, they think back several centuries. The art from the art form is believed to have been influenced by Indian, Japanese, and Chinese textile tradition. Over time, Malaysian batik developed its own unique styles and motif. Um, Charul, I don't understand. Can you give a, an example? Yeah, yes. Malaysian batik design often features floral pattern, geometric shape, and motif inspired by nature and local culture. 
different regions of Malaysia have their own distinctive styles and motif. For example, the batik from the east coast of Peninsular Malaysia may have more Islamic and floral design, while the batik from the northern states might feature more intricate patterns. If you want to buy batik, you can buy it at Pasapayang. The price of batik in Pasapayang is not expensive, and we will get discount if you buy a lot of batik. But of you know about Pasapayang, right? Yes, I know. But can you tell about the background about Pasar Payang? Yes. So Pasar Payang or Pasar Besar Kuala Kedai Payang, probably the origin of the name Perahu Payang. A type of fishing with uh, the market, their cash in the market. Uh, the Terengganu is for Kedai Tempayan, refers to big market in Kuala Terengganu. It is a traditional business place that is popular among tourists to Terengganu. Uh, sorry. So, before the Pasar Payang is bull, they, they uh, make a business at just uh, the, in, uh, at the boat? Uh, yes, and they catch the fish and they uh, sell uh, the fish. Oh, okay. it's very interesting. I think Pasar Payang is so amazing. Yes. yes. Um, but I want to give you more. Can you tell us more? Of course. Pasar Payang Market consists of a two-story complex building. At the bottom, they are wet stalls and stalls selling a variety of traditional Trigano sweets. At the top, there are various shops selling various goods. It is located near the Shah Bandar Gunti uh, and is a stopover for tourists who want to board a boat to the nearby island. Uh, sorry, Carol, but I, I want to know where, where is located the Pasar Payang. Um, the Payang Market is located in the city of Kuala Terengganu, Terengganu directly facing the South China Sea. It is the focus of tourists who come to Kuala Terengganu. This two-story market building is divided into two main types of goods. The lower section sells kitchen items, including fish, vegetable, and, and traditional sweets. While the upper floor is famous for selling clothing, especially Tringanu Batik, silk, brocade fabric, and Malay woven something. So, um, Cheryl, sorry this too for your speech. Mm, the Pasar Payan is like Pasar Siti Hadijah at Klangkan, right? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, I understand what you tell about the Pasar um, Payan. Do you want to know more about Pasar Payan? Uh, yes, of course. Sure, that's amazing, but I want you to tell more about this Pasar Payan. Yes, okay. The British Bazaar is located next to this Payang, Payang Bazaar. The Kuala Terengganu City Council bus station complex and nearby business premise cause the environment to be congest, especially on Saturdays and Sundays. Wow, I'm so excited about the food there. Cheryl, can you explain more where the famous food place is uh, in Terengganu? Yes, if you want to know, a popular nasi dagang restaurant in Terengganu is called Nasi Dagang Atas Tun. The nasi dagang there has a uniqueness to its dish, which is long shaped rice or known as basmati rice. This gives a special texture and taste to this dish. Additionally, side dish to be eaten with nasi dagang is fish curry. This curry, the fish curry, the fish is cooked is in not an Indian style but a Malaysian style curry. For instance, coconut milk mix with traditional Malay fish such as lemon grass, berenggel, chili pasta, chili paste and turmeric. Tuna is the standard choice of fish but other fish can be used as well such as tangiri. Chicken and corn are also used sometimes. That's all from me. Um, I think the food is so delicious. Um, hey, do you want to add anything? I think I don't have uh, any add-on for this information because um, 
the information that I read, all of you have tell uh, before this. So, so this blog is useful for us to go again. Yes, I, I, I think this blog is very, very function to us because we need to know about information uh, about information in Trengganu because it's very helpful to us to make a trip for our to to there. So I think that's all for today. Uh, so let me conclude the by saving by let me conclude with um I, um, the conclusion is I'm going to say that Terengganu is one of the most underrated places in Malaysia. Um, Terengganu has a rich culture heritage influenced by Malaysia tradition eh, like Kulit um, Mayang, Bati. So I think Terengganu has a rich of traditional. Um, the state is known for traditional art forms uh, including Bati, like I said, Kulit Mayang and traditional dance and music also best um, best uh, best place um, like Pulau Perhentian um, Terengganu Terengganu also have a dialect um, like Kelantan but dialect Kelantan and Terengganu is different uh, it's um, really different uh, Terengganu has a natural beauty culture, heritage um, and economic diversity make it appealing destination for both tourists and those interested to experiencing uh, Malaysian rich traditional uh, easy place where uh, visitors can enjoy the best of both estate and culture uh, and that's it um, yes, I said many foreigners come to Terengganu to survey our our culture and our traditional uh, it, it will be cause our economy to to up and to make Terengganu our famous place in the world yes I think you have uh, Sharon you have any add on information um, for me this blog has uh, more uh, information uh, I hope this information can be used if we if, we, if the plan is success to make it so I think this plan for the plan for this holidays uh, can we do because we have got the lot of information about Tengganu yes. so see you soon and we can go there together okay. see you when I see you soon see you soon can you list the activities that we can do at Tengganu as for this question, I can answer, may I answer this question? So thank you for the question. Uh, the activities that we can do when we visiting the Tunganu is uh, uh, First and first, we need to visiting, uh, visiting the Tengganu Drawbridge it is because this drawbridge is also a component in the development of Kuala Tengganu City Centre. Its design was by London Bridge in London. Next, we can go to Pasar Payang. The market has many variation foods and items from Tengganu. We can get a low price for the items if we buy in many quantity. Last but not least, my suggestion is we can go to Pantai Baturo. The view is very beautiful and we can also do the other activities as well like picnic, playing kite and others. This activity are uh, my suggestion that we can use we can use the hack mining. I have a question. I ask the student which place should I go and why? Thank you for the question. I think it's a good question for students. I think as a student, I suggest you to visit the mosque, uh, Crystal Mosque. 
this was also known. This was um, also known as Masjid Bistel di Malay. Um, the unique, the unique, uh, the unique because the, the, the design um, made from uh, three material. Um, this mosque is located also in Kuala Terengganu, uh, Malaysia. Uh, it is one of the most iconic and unique mosques in the world due the the modern and introspective architect design. This mosque you don't need to pay if you want to enter, but it is open to all all people in this world to come to this mosque. Um, if you think this mosque um, just for Muslim, are you wrong? Because everyone can come and can visit this mosque. The activity that we we, we can do, uh, especially for students, students can take a picture and also can pray like another Muslim. Uh, this mosque has become a most popular tourist destination in Malaysia because uh, because the design is unique. Um, so uh, foreigners from uh, from around the world come to visit this mosque because they want to know what the unique of the crystal mosque. Thank you. Does the block help us in tourism matters? Yes, for me, I think the block help us in tourism matters because we get more information from this block about how are we going to the place we want to go, such as as if we want to go to Pasapaya, we can take a bus or taxi or or grab. Other than that, the block help us about the budget. If you want to go to some place, uh, we must have a budget uh, to save our money. So, uh, I think the place, if you want to go some place, such as, is, such as if you want to go to Tunjanu for two days, the budget is not more than 500 ringgit. So, I think that's the best idea if students want to go to travel to Tunjanu. Alright, for the next question, for your opinion, what is the important tip for using when we go to trip? Okay, uh, in my opinion, the important tips for using when we go to trip is the first thing first, we can use the public Wi-Fi and it's because the scammer can use and steal uh, our personality information for using their crime. It was dangerous for us to make sure our personality information in the good condition. Next, we need to always update about our condition with family or trusted member. It is because it will be made sure we in the good condition and they don't worry about our condition. I think that the important tips can I share with you. Yes, question from the audience. In your opinion, what's the difference between Batik Malaysia and Indonesia? Thank you for the question. Um, in my opinion, but Malaysian Batik design often features for patterns, geometric shapes and motifs inspired by nature and local culture. Um, different regions of Malaysia have their own distinct, distinctive styles and motifs. 
For example, batik from his cause uh, of Peninsula Malaysia may have more Islamic and floral design. But batik Indonesia is more than just a fabric. It, it is a symbol of Indonesia culture and identity. It has recognized as a masterpiece of oral and inter intangible heritage of humanity uh, by UNESCO. I think that's all from us. Thank you. Alright, thanks for asking the question. So, the last one, from the question from the audience. Um, can you please explain other places that are interesting in Trigani? Thank you for the question. Also, the, for the last question, the other place that you can go uh, 